Welcome to Lowe's Joinery. Have you ever wanted to get into spraying but you're not sure how thick or thin you need to make the paint? Stick around and I'm about to show you. Okay then folks, so I, I, whenever I'm posting pictures, videos, etc, I get asked every single time what paint are you using and how much do you thin it down, if you thin it down at all. Um, there's no right or wrong answer for both of those. I know the one question is obviously what paint do I use. My main, main port call is Ticurilla. Um, nine times out of ten I will use Halmy 80. Halmy is their water-based, acrylic-based um, furniture paint, durable, r really durable um, water-based paint. So that's what I normally do. I spray a lot of radiator covers, folks, um, and that's what I stick on there. I'll go for a matte, because um, not everybody wants shiny. Um, when they do, I'll bring out the Halmy 80. Um, and yeah, I've got a link, uh, I'll link in the description to the Ticurilla video I've done. Uh, and if you order through me, you'll get, or if you use the code that's provided, you'll get um, you get a percentage off your first order as well. So it's all good if you wanted to try it out. So <clears throat> I'm quick, I've got a few covers to spray, surprise. Um, I think I might just thin some paint down with you. Chuck it in the gun, have a chat to you, and then, uh, yeah, see how it goes. Right then, folks, so what I've got here is, um, well, first I'll tell you what, quick tip. Get yourself some of these. They're mixing cups um, from any, any uh, auto body shop, um, car body shop in the UK, you know. They've got all your measurements. I don't use any of the measurements very rarely. You've got your mills on there. And these are your three to one, four to one sort of mixes. Um, they're just handy, cheap little cups. Uh, and I don't throw, very rarely throw them away. Keep using them. So first little tip. Um, right, so I've got my little cups here. Um, I've got the neat paint in this one. This is thick, very thick. So, obviously that's gonna need thinning down. Now, I don't wanna keep going on and on and on. Um, I've put a 30 minute video out on painting. Let's just square that up a bit if I can. So, I don't wanna go on and on. Um, I've actually, I've put a 30 minute video out. Um, about spray painting techniques, and I think I'll go over the paint, the, the needle sizes on that, but you thin your paint down according to the needle size you're using. If you're using a um, conventional spray gun like this, or to be honest, if you're using any spray gun with a needle set up, um, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna pay attention to what size it is and that will correspond to how thick or thin you need your paint. So, um, I've got two guns I normally use. I've got a 1.3 tip and I've got a 2 mil. I've got a 2 mil tip. The 2 mil tip I use for primer only. And the primer that comes in, the primer I get, uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try that as well. Uh, the consistency is perfect for a 2 mil tip. It comes out, it needs sanding back, but it gives good coverage. It gets enough paint on there to cover any minor imperfections. Um, and it just, it just, it's ready to rock and roll straight out the tin, so to speak. So that's perfect. I'll leave a link in the description to the gun and to the primer I use. So if you wanted to have a perfect setup straight away, you know, you won't need to try it. Um, regarding on the paint thinning, it is so so simple. I pour the paint into one cup as per. 
I've got another cup. Now this has got some made up anyway, but I'm going to add to it. Um, another cup. I'll get one more with some clean, fresh water in there. Um, and then we'll get some paint mixed up. So I drop my thick paint in. And then I'll get my clean water, splash that on top. And I've literally, you could probably buy special ones, but I've literally just cut the point off a spaded bit and I just chuck that in. Chuck that in a little, a little bloody 20 pound parkside job. Well, I love this drill, by the way, before you go. And and then that's done. Stick that in the oven for 35 minutes and you've got a beautiful cake. Now, so, what you want it to be is you want to get the consistency of single cream. Um, what I normally do as a little test, that might be a little thick, but as a little test, I sort of pick it up. There is, you can buy viscosity. Um, people uh, time this, for that, put my teeth in. People time this viscosity of it, but you sort of, when I've I've done it that long now, you sort of know the consistency you want it to be. Um, but like I say, that corresponds to the needle size you're using. You've got the paint thinned down. Obviously, next process, you want to get it into the gun. And that's why those cups come in handy, because they're nice and handy to hold. And generally, they're the same size as the... Um, pots as well, you get about as much in them as you can in pots, so. I'm just swapping over, because at the minute, um, I'm just going through all my old guns, and I picked this up at Lidl. Uh, it's another Parkside, it cost me about £14, pound, um, and I absolutely love it. It's a 1.4 tip. Or the equivalent to a 1.4 tip. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I might put a video out showing you know what you can do on a very little budget or using very basic tools. And this obviously, you know, you're buying it from a supermarket, so there's no regulator, there's nothing on there. I use it bare as it is, so yeah, really good gun actually. So you got your paint and what I use is one of these it's a mini kitchen sieve um, very fine mesh on it literally it's got two little hooks on I can hook that over over there and then you just take your mixed paint and I can just dispense that straight in and what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to catch any um, bits or... Because even new paint doesn't come completely pure. So that's going to catch any bits. It's going to stop any dirt or it's going to stop any big clumps that may clog your gun up, obviously. And another tip I will say is always, always sieve your paint.
And there you go, there you're ready for paint. Okay then folks, so quick video, well, I say quick video, all my quick videos turn into about 15 minutes long. Um, nothing special, I got asked a lot so I thought I'd do a video as it's easier than writing. Um, I hope it clarifies it for you, I will go over it again. Um, obviously the thickness of the paint dictate or is dictated by the needle size you're using. Uh, if you're using an airless, you don't even need to thin it really. Um, that's the general purpose of them. But for this uh, application, a 1.3, 1.4 tip, you want to get that down to the consistency of single cream. That will make sure that that paint's atomizing properly. Once you get all your, um, once you get your air set up properly, your airflow, and you've got your fan size and the needle set at the right distance, etc. Um, like I say, I'll put a link in the description to the spraying the tips, the spraying tips video. It's about 30 minutes long, but it's worth a watch if you're serious about spraying. Um, so yeah, I can't think of anything else. Thank you again for watching, folks. I really appreciate the love. If you're new here um, and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It means a lot to me. Um, thank you to all the subs I've already got. Big love to you lot. And um, if you're around the area next Wednesday, folks, check back because there's always something new for you to view. See you later.